Over the past year, the Memorial Union Organization has continued to grow the diversity of program offerings and support to students in an effort to develop in each student a sense of place and a feeling of connection. Hello everybody, my name is Olivia Track and I'm the Assistant Manager of Public Relations in the MU Basement. Um, and something unique about the basement, the MU Basement, is that it's completely and entirely run by students. Um, there are student managers, there's an official um, hire student manager and then there's three other assistant managers um, that assist the manager and um, we have uh, bowling and billiards and then traditional arcade games like air hockey, foosball, we also have the beaver den and um, the MU basement is growing um, every term. We offer um, term bowling passes um, as well as pack classes. Um, so if you're looking for something to do, um, it's a Friday night and you're on campus, come by the MU basement and have some fun with us. Hi everyone, my name is Corinne Neff and I'm the director of the Memorial Union Program Council. We're a student-led, student-driven organization which plans and produces high-quality, large-scale events every year. Every year we plan about 15 of the largest Oregon State University events including Moms Weekend, Dads Weekend, Battle of the Bands, Damn Jam, fashion shows, comedy shows, and much more. Um, we are hosted in the MU. Every single year the MU produces about 8,000 events with over 350,000 participants. Um, MUPC is part of the Student Event and Activities Center. Every year they put on over 200 programs with over 35,000 participants. We always encourage people to get involved and come check out what we have to offer. OSU's programs and services are broad in range and offer key indicators of its success that stretch across numerous program areas. Hi, my name is Amy Choi. I'm the director of ISOSU 2013 and 14. ISOSU is the International Students of Oregon State University. It's a university program that's funded by internationally minded students. Our mission is to create community that enhances student experience through education and celebration of cultures around the world. If you guys want to come check us out, we are located in the right side of MU Lounge, which is called IRC, and we are staffed from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. every day. Also, we have a Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash osu.isosu. We update a lot of information and other resources available over there. So please come check us out. Hi, um, my name is James Thomas. I'm an intern at the Center for Leadership Development here at Oregon State University. Um, here at the Memorial Union, we offer a, a variety of resources for students to get involved in team and organizational leadership. The Memorial Union supports well over 100 different programs for leadership development, um, offering opportunities for up to 2,000 students annually. The Center for Fraternity and Sorority Life has over 47 fraternities and sororities, um, offering a variety of workshops for leadership development as well. Um, the Center for Leadership Development also offers a variety of different classes and other opportunities for students to get more engaged. Hi, I'm Morgan and I'm the Marketing and Promotional Coordinator at OSU's Craft Center. Hi, I'm Dennis. I'm one of the front desk staff here at the Craft Center as well as the other Marketing and Promotional Coordinator. Uh, we're open seven days a week, Monday through Friday, uh, 1 p.m. to 10 p.m., Saturday, Sunday, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. We try to get uh, everyone's schedules included in our business hours. We're not only open to the OSU student body, we are also open to OSU faculty and staff as well as general public. Uh, we are a nonprofit community based organization and we just try to provide a creative outlet for everyone in the community. So the Craft Center, we have a lot of fun workshops you can be a part of with talented instructors. Some of them include ceramics, woodwork, silk screening, jewelry, glasswork. There's a lot of different activities for everyone. Overall, these programs continue to grow and flourish, providing more to students and helping to support the primary directives of the institution itself. Uh, my name is Olivia Poblacion, and I'm a senior um, studying geography at Oregon State University, and I'm the director of the Student Sustainability Initiative. And the, the Student Sustainability Initiative is a student fee funded, student run organization that um, its mission is to support student efforts to create a culture of sustainability at OSU. And so for us, we look at sustainability as um, having three key components, uh, economic, social, and environmental sustainability. There's a lot of different ways that uh, students can get involved. It's a really awesome leadership, op leadership development opportunity because um, it is student run. Uh, and uh, we have a center on campus. Uh, it's open from 11 to 5, so people can, can drop in. And we have uh, 
uh, 11 student workers that work here. So it's, a, it's really unique that OSU has uh, it pays students to dedicate uh, time to making OSU more sustainable, which not every campus has that. We just launched a really cool program this year called Growing Food Security, and it's a collaboration um, between several different OSU organizations, which is for low-income students who um, uh, don't have access to healthy food. And then the uh, Center for Civic Engagement is going to be hosting a uh, food preservation classes so they can learn how to um, can and process food. Yeah, if you go to the Oregon State website and type in Student Sustainability Initiative, um, we have a website, we also have a Facebook page, um, and uh, we will be moving to the Student Experience Center uh, in uh, January uh, 2015, so we will be at a more centrally located um, building on campus and like I said, we're open from 11 to 5 so you can stop by. Uh, we, like, we love to have drop-ins come in and uh, and we can sit down and talk to you about what you're interested in and think about the different ways that you can get involved. My name is Jody DeVast and I work for OSU Student Media. Specifically, I'm a station manager for KBVR FM, which is an award-winning student-run radio station. We have student content on air 24-7. About two-thirds of every hour of every day is filled with programming. So 24 hours in a day, we have at least 15 to 18 of those hours filled every day with student content. In fact, we have two live bands on air every week. We have music shows in every genre imaginable from noise metal to country, and uh, all run by students. Student Media also has four other mediums. That's the Daily Barometer, KBVR-TV, Prism Art and Literary Magazine, and the Beaver Yearbook. KBVR TV has a number of programs like Locals Live and In the Pines that has music featured. It has a weekly news program, a sports program. And for the Daily Barometer, it comes out every day. Somebody wakes up at 3.30 every morning to make sure that you get your campus and community news every day. That's the benefit of student media is that it represents the student voice. Regardless of where you're from or what you're doing or what your hopes and dreams are, you can get your voice heard by the community. And soon student media is going to be moving from the Pinto that is Snell Hall into a spaceship that is a student experience center. We're getting uh, several million dollars worth of new equipment that students can use to learn how to become professional media producers. Uh, and we're going to be changing the structure of our student organization so that we mimic an actual media organization. So this is a really fantastic time to get involved with student media. If you ever have dreams of being on the air, on TV, getting published, now is a fantastic time, better than any other time, to get involved and get your voice heard.